Hi folks, I'm here at Plain Fun Days 2022 in Brasstown, North Carolina. And I guarantee you, we're going to have a lot of great fun. Stick around and enjoy this adventure. This heavenly valley in western North Carolina has been a gathering place for bush pilots over the years. Our host, Billy Payne, has named this yearly event Plain Fun Days. Here we are finishing our tent setup, which is not a chore, it's just plain fun. Okay, not too much dust on me now because I, I don't want to get this messed up or anything. <laughs> This year our pilots and planes are Chris and his Just Super Stole XL Drew and his Just Super Stole Gary and his Just Super Stole Billy and his Just Super Stole XL Jeff and his Just Highlander Lauren and his Just Highlander Tom and his Just Highlander Vic and his Just Highlander Mike and his Just Highlander Jody and his Just Highlander John and his Just Highlander Frank and his Acme Arrow Super Cub Michelle and her Savage Cub Steve and his Arrow Trek and Kenneth and his Kit Fox. The weather is great so let's get some practice in before the games begin. Chris begins with a fine short landing. I slowed it down so you could see how a pilot from Maine can make it look so easy. Now Chris is not done. Here he shows us how he backs up into a parking spot. This is especially useful when he has his plane on floats. Drew taxis for takeoff on 3-6 to join in the fun. and returns on 1-8. Here is Jeff taking off on 3-6 to go around the pattern. Now he does a flyby to practice the approach for the limbo game. 
This is Tom doing a similar flyby. Here is Frank crossing midfield as he arrives to join in the fun. He approaches a landing on the hill. He then taxis to park with the group. Here Chris continues his practice. So, we're going to go five and five, so everybody else can watch. We're going to do, if everybody's seen that white line about where you turn off the taxiway to the hangar, that's where we're going to be set up. And we're going to come in this way, downhill. The pilot's goal is to fly under the ribbon without breaking it or touching the ground. In group one final, first up is Steve, and he touches the ground. He did, just stay in the circle. Next is Vic, and he broke the ribbon. Next is Kenneth, and he made it. You and Tom are still in. And last in the group one is Tom, and he broke the ribbon. After lowering the ribbon, Kenneth cleared it again and became group one winner. Okay. In group two final, first up is Chris, and he made it. He made it. Next up is John, and he touched the ground. All right, just stay in the pattern. Next is Gary, and he made it. You got lucky again, G-Dog. Yeah, I... Next is Jeff. and he touched the ground. Next is Michelle, and she made it. Good job. And last is Drew, and he broke the ribbon. Next again is Chris. Next again is Michelle. This time she touched the ground. Chris became group two winner. Now the final. Chris broke the ribbon. No pressure, Kenneth, but if you don't like this, Jens are going to have to arm wrestle for it. And Kenneth also broke the ribbon. I guess we'll take a uh, crowd participation vote and see who put on the best show. Sounds good to me. All right, so let me lay this down for everybody. So same course as last year, but what you're going to do is take off on 3-6. There's an orange line there. Anytime you see an orange line, that's a takeoff line. A white line is a landing line. Okay? So there's an orange line up there, and your first takeoff is measured. All right? You're going to take off. You're going to fly down. You have to fly past the river through the trees before you turn. There's an orange line up there by the highway. You have to taxi up to that orange line and turn around and take off from that orange line. You can't just land out there 12 feet short and turn around and take back off. Okay. Then you're going to take back off. You're going to turn left and go through the holes in the tree and the river. Every time we have to go past the river before we make a turn. Make your turn, right or left, I don't care. Come back and land. On one eight, right about where we had the limbo is a white line. That landing is measured. 
So your time on the course and your first landing, the first takeoff and landing, last landing is converted to time. That's the novice course. The advanced course, same thing, 3-6, take off, measure, through the trees, turn right, land on 2-6, take back off, through the trees, land on the hill. The white line is there on the hill with the cones, that's measured. First up on the novice course is Chris. He crosses the river and turns right for the east-west runway. He lands, then turns around before takeoff. Turns left and crosses the river again. Circles to final on a short landing for runway 18. Next up is John, who completes the same novice course as Chris. Last is Michelle, Michelle completes the same course with a fine short landing. Lane 250. First up on the advanced course is Gary. He crosses the river and then turns right for the east-west runway. He lands, then turns around before takeoff. Turns left and crosses the river again. Turns right and heads for the hill landing. His short landing is then measured. Landing. On the time. Next up is Tom, who completes the same advanced course as Gary.
Tom completes the same advanced course as Gary. Next up is Jeff. Jeff completes the same course. One seventy on the hill landing. Last is Kenneth. Kenneth completes the same course. One twenty five on the hill landing. I got you. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't, and as always, I appreciate your comments. And I want to thank you for watching these videos. It's always a pleasure to bring something new and exciting to you. So until next time, take care.